my gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, we already stalled sheep today. Yeah, a whole school of them. That was whole awesome. School. It's a school day for the sheep. <laughs> Is that what you call them at school? A herd. A school of herd. School of fish, you know. Herd school of, of fur. Herd. herd of sheep. School of sheep. Who knows? Two guys gonna go out. What are we doing today, Ryan? You know, I think the goal is to propel down a 350 foot dry waterfall. Then, you know, if we feel like it, we don't <laughs> ascend back up that bad boy. And we know if it's, we feel like it, it's we're gonna, gonna descend back down that thing. And then we'll see where that takes it's us. It's an upper body workout today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all about it's all about climbing. Yeah. Uh -oh, I'm losing my rope. I, 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 I'm hoping I don't regret Can you stuff me, sir? You know? <laughs> oh, we lost some rope. Here's Con. This is what we're going to be doing at the end of the day. Yeah. We're going to be stuffing 400, 400 feet, feet of rope, rope. <laughs> inside this bag. Well, the stuffing is not the part. It's, the, it's the pulling them up because it's so heavy, right? Remember last week? Oh, yeah. That was a workout, too. Yeah. A lot of back and bias today. Yeah. And this is a, a back workout, too. 400 feet of rope, 10 mil. It's, it's bad boy. It's, it's, it's today's upper body. Yeah. Definitely an upper body day today. You got going on there, Ryan. This chain was just hanging here when we got here, yeah. so um, as a backup to our bolt, which we're going to be wrapping on, yeah. we just connected these two together, so I mean, this is soft. Talk about the big drop. There it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're giving people, giving folks a little preview of the big wall. Uh, should be 360. Yeah. My calculations are correct. <laughs> so All right, here we go. The moment of truth. We have 400 feet of rope. I'm actually tossing about 360 feet down to the bottom here. Um, Con, you ready for this, bro? Got Con out there trying to get some good footage of this. <laughs> On his personal anchor system. Yeah, being safety first. Always. Here we go. Okay, Con, do me a favor. Holler rope down there twice, real loud. Okay. Rope! Sometimes there's Rope! a. Sometimes there's a campers or people that will backpack and they'll sleep down there. We just want to make sure we don't whack them with a rope bag. <laughs> Be a bad way to wake up, right? In your sleeping bag. All right, here we go. Whoo! This is jacking me up right here. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Rope! Oh my gosh. Ooh. Boom! We have contact with the ground. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. All right, Con is all getting ready for the first wrap down Boy Scout. Mm -hmm. 350 feet, some call it 340. Down. Woo. Here we go. Getting ready for that first wrap. <laughs> here I am, just hanging out here, waiting for my boy Ryan to come down. He's still working his way down. I don't even see him over the lip of the wall yet. Yeah, and that's the slowest part. Having to fight all that gravity just to get over the lip. Aha! So much smoother. Yeah. That's, that's the top. way to go. Yeah, yeah the whole way so, down. It was so I was smooth. Like yeah. Fighting to feed it through. It oh awesome. man, that was awesome.
All right, Con, how's it going? Oh, it's I would say it's been about 15 minutes. He's maybe, I don't know, what do you think? 60, 70, 60 feet? Something like that. Something like that. So it's just a, a slow, slow progress here, but it's progress. We knew what we signed up for today. We knew that this was going to be a challenge and uh, we don't quit. So no matter what it takes, we're going to get to the top. And All yeah, right. Kyle's making some progress. He's getting, uh, he's about three quarters of the way up. It's moving good. There you go, Con. Oh, my battery's dead. I like that system way better than my system. If I'm going halfway, sit down, up, sit down. That was a pain. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Biggest ascent to date. Ready to ready to get it. I'll do it. One time a day, pretty good. One's probably good. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh. About 15 minutes. You got two minutes. No, no, no. I started right at 11. Oh, did you? Yeah, 40 minutes. All right. Up here, I think when you started going, I said 53, but that's, I guess you didn't get on the rope yet. Yeah, I'm still sitting up. Yeah, buddy. Woo! I heard some hikers. I thought they were going to come down on a parallel. They're like, I'm good. What like, is okay. it? Bikers? Uh, yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I didn't see them. I, I, I can hear them. They didn't come down this way. I thought they were going to be coming down this way. I'm like, oh, you guys are going to have to hang out for a bit. Yeah. I got a guy coming back up. Okay. Yeah! yeah. 41 minutes. Sweet. <sighs> okay. All right, a little scrambling route we decided to use as the exit instead of ascending back up that bad boy. So here comes Khan. Kind of a cool little climb out of here. I'd say this is definitely, what would you say this is, Khan? Class four? Scrambling? Something like that. <laughs> okay. I would say. Probably definitely class four. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Just finished the second rappel. Scrambling out. Gonna grab our gear. Head back to the truck. It's been a fun day. Good job, Con. Con busting out those climbing skills right there. You can hear some people walking up the canyon from the river. People kayak this uh, the river. Oh, there's a loose rock, Con. I did. Oh, look at that. It just gets loose when I pull on it. Yeah, yeah. This is stuff. The thing with climbing this kind of rock, sometimes it'll crumble in your hand, so you want to give it a tug and make sure it doesn't give away before you commit to it. I never like to fully put my weight on anything. Anyway, I always want to have a backup just in case it gives out. Nice. That view out there. River is pretty close to us. It's a beautiful day. All right. <clears throat> Wrapping up our day here at Boy Scout. What an adventurous day. And then we got rain to top it off. Finishing up in the rain. This has been crazy, 
crazy. So we did our 350 foot wrap down. Uh, we ascended back up using two different uh, ascending methods. methods. We know which method is better. We figured out which is more efficient. Um, we got up here, we ate some lunch, and decided, hey, we want to go back down and wrap it one more time. So we wrapped it. And then and, uh, we chose our own adventure. And, and our adventure. And then we went and did some crazy ass climbing, up climb. It was basically, no, it was free soloing uh, with some five, six, five, seven moves all the way to the top. Took our time and just, uh, whoo, it was spicy. But uh, it just added to the day. And then we just had this storm just roll in. Uh, we're gonna start picking up our gear. Day. Yeah, just to top off the day. Just how it is. So we roll yeah. out of the ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Man, what a day. Um, everything just from the start, man. Um, wrap down. The, um, it's fantastic. Big wrap down. Descent went, back up. It went a little smooth on the wrap today, right? You did it in a lower setting. Lower setting. Uh, wrap was smooth. No complaints with that. Yeah. Descent. We knew it was going to be a tough day. We knew it was going to be long. <clears throat> we knew it was going to be physical. We knew it was going to be tough. I, I had no idea. Remember, what was my guess on the way for me to take to go up? I think you said you were going to do it in 30 minutes. <laughs> How long did that take you? An hour and 20 minutes. Oh. Old school, plaquette old, style. Old school. I'm glad I brought the micro traction today. It was a little bit smoother. 41 still minutes. It's still, still it's, a, it's a grind. 41 minutes. Okay, sir. <laughs> that's a long way i don't know how i survived 120 i mean an hour and 20 minutes like what it, it you know just coming up that overhang was just forever i wasn't making much progress at all then, it was like <clears throat> i pull i pull a whole foot up and i lose eight inches and i gain four inches and that's how it was i was literally inch warming my way up crazy that rope um so we get to the top we eat uh, a sandwich and then we decide we need to get one more repel yeah so we got a rappel and from the bottom i thought i spotted it was a definitely a direct route but you know looking up at something sometimes can be a little deceiving so <clears throat> what we thought was a pretty was going to be like maybe some class four scrambling i would say it turned into some free solo five sixes maybe a five seven some move serious stuff. so we definitely got into some stuff and yeah. uh you know we just Kept moving, stay calm. Kept moving. Problem solved. Problem solved. It, problem solving the whole time. And, yeah. You know, we got up there and uh, it's just, it's like loose rock. So yeah. we're just uh, grabbing on to stuff, making sure it. Um, Didn't have time for video. <laughs> too busy. Off. Too I know, busy. That's what sucks. We got yeah. done with that. And that was actually the most exciting aspect of today because, I mean, we're That was the most adrenaline pumping, I think. was the most adrenaline. More than yeah. the repel, more than the, uh, and the, the ascending. I got to say, like, because we climbed, it was 400 feet. We actually climbed 50 feet higher than we did the rappel, over, yeah. so it was a 400 foot, like I said, class four scramble with some five six climbing moves in there and uh, some dicey spicy stuff. Spicy. And, That's uh, a lot of spice. <laughs> we get to the top and I'm just like, <sighs> and then you thought it was gonna be a, a drop off. And then get to the top, <clears throat> not really knowing what's up there because we didn't go by the beta. The beta tells us to go down a little further and then we go up. And we do like some class three, class four scrambles up towards like this natural arch or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like be fun to go kind of choose our own adventure and just kind of make our own route, you know, which is okay. But you got to not knowing you don't, you don't know what you don't know. So yeah. we get to now the top know. and uh, I'm on top of this peak now. I got up a little bit before con and I walk over to the right. And I thought we cliffed out. I looked down and I'm seeing Ooh. cliffs everywhere. Oh. And my heart sank. Uh. I was like. We just did this climb for nothing. Oh, we got to climb back down. We got to climb back down. I was like, oh no, we got to call, call for a helicopter. And the climb back down would not be an easy. <laughs> would not have been an easy. Climb but, up, uh, climbing up is easy. Climbing down is way harder. Upon further investigation, though, I noticed um, with a little bit of down climbing and a little bit of a traverse, we were able to have an exit route that um, wasn't too bad. And uh, we came, we finished at a perfect time because finished with a storm rolling in. Yeah. We got, got a little rain. Got rained on a little bit. Dude, we just we had so much adventure today with the climbing, <laughs> the rappelling. The, the only thing I didn't whine about when we we're going up, which I whined about when we got down, was like, damn it, we got to up climb after my an hour, 20 minute rope climb. My arms are spent. This was a day. Like, uh, when we talked about it, we we're like, oh, well, it'll probably just be like four hours. And yeah. we got started at like seven. It's like 3.30 right now. 
So we we added in some extra yeah, adventure we did. today. Yeah. So yeah. definitely worth it. It was so. definitely worth the adventure. Wow. Yeah, for sure. That was a doozy. It was a cool day, man. Definitely. Yeah. Uto! Uto. <laughs>